Thank you for attending to the second part of uh, how to build a Wheeler diagram. Now we are going to work into some more complicated uh, diagram so we can go deep inside of some concepts. Now we are going into the drawing board to make uh, some illustration about this concept. Now we are going to build a little bit more complicated diagram. We are going to start with an unconformity here, an angular unconformity. And below the unconformity, we are going to put here a folded interval with a fold. On top of the succession, I will put a ballet with some fluvial infill inside. So I will put the first step where we will put some numbers here from one to three, four, then this will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight is missing, there we are going to have nine, ten, and eleven. So, 11 units is uh, some, a little bit more complex. Okay, here is our cross-section, a little bit more complicated. Uh, the first step after putting the numbers, um, make you put in some colors to get uh, things a little bit more easy, is to build the time series. So we are going to start making the time series. So we are going to apply the same concept we used in the first video. So for the unit one, the top of the unit one is only, only we can see the top in this area. And the base of the one is missing. So I can put here a line going somewhere. And uh, from of this side of this line, the one unit is not exposed. So this is the our one unit. Then we have the two unit. The two, the top of the two unit is someone here, and the base of the two unit is at the same place of the boundary with the one. So this this will be the boundary of between one and two and this is the full extension of the two bed. So this is our two. Again on the left side the two unit is non exposed. So then we have the three unit. The three unit, the base is more or less here, and the upper part of the three unit is more or less here. So I can trace a line here and put some color showing the extension of the tree. But we have a problem here that the upper part of the three unit in this area is missing. So we are going to have something 
here uh, we are going to explain later on so this is some color of the tree unit but at the same time as you can see here in this area we have also the tree unit the top of the tree unit is all along all this area and we can recognize the top of the tree unit up to more or less here and also some part of the the lower part of the tree unit so of course uh, perhaps we have some gap here uh, the lower part is not really exposed here and some lacking part of the tree here but the main interesting problem of this unit is that in this area we are going to have an overlap and this overlap will be because of the fall because at the same time if you do drill a well here we are going to find the unit 3 and then you are going to find unit 3 again so we have two, two times the extension of unit 3 in this area okay then we are going to move with unit 4 unit 4 the base of unit 4 is more or less here and the top of unit 4 I, I don't know should be someone here I don't know but and and this time we have this unconformity here the unconformity that is cutting part of the upper part of the four unit so this is our fall and at the same time I will put some color here for our for unit but at the same time this is the hanging wall uh, in the other part of the, uh, uh, in the other side of the fall we have the four unit and the top of the four unit is more or less here and the base of the four units it's here you can trace a line here mm -hmm. and as you can see we are going to have in some parts an overlap of the two units due to the reverse fall so in this part we are going to have an overlap due to the fall so after this um, four unit we have our five unit the five unit is only on the uh, left side of the drawing so we are going to have a full extension the full extension of the five unit up to this point in which we have the top of five and the base of 5 here so this will be our 5 unit 5 e4 unit 5 we are go not going to have overlap this time and uh, very interesting then you have unit unit 6 this is unit 6 the top of unit 6 then we have again the top here with some truncation for this unconformity and then the top is of unit C can be traced up to this point in which we have the fall so this will be our unit 6 and finally our unit 7 the top of the unit 7 is not 
really present perhaps is is somewhere somewhere here but very interesting the base of the unit 7 is more or less here so we can trace the unconformity the same happened here you have, you have the top of the 7 here and we can trace this unconformity up to the fall this is the reverse fall so uh, this is uh, our on the right side we have no of course five six seven because all this part was eroded but you can see very interesting how the erosional surfaces is below here because of the reverse fall we are going to explain later on of course we have here now some time lacking because the eight interval was not accumulate so indifferent to all this part the eight interval is a time of non deposition I, w I will put some different uh, slash time of non deposition. So then we have the time nine. Time nine is more or less complete, but uh, in this part we have some lacking time because of some erosion we have here. So this is time nine. Time ten is only recognized in this part. We have the top of ten from here up to here, and the base of ten is more or less here. As you can see, these uh, units are detached. It's a typical features you can recognize in a Wheeler diagram. So finally, we have the 11 unit. And you can see this 11 unit here. again detached from the main section because of the time involved so we have again i will put some dots in the time eroded time again this is eroded time this is time of non-deposition again around the time and again non deposition as you can see uh, wheeler diagrams are very useful to show also not just the rock we can see the time and uh, for example this is a uh, of course an angular angular unconformity and the angular unconformity, when, when you have here a uh, reverse fall, we can clearly see how the reverse fall affect this angular unconformity and expand the bed, the lacking time in terms of bed in this part on the right side of the section. And also, in below, we have this time of not exposed time because the cross-section don't reach those levels. So, this is a, a little bit more complex. Again, uh, I will put here, this is the angular unconformity. This, in this part, of course, this is all this time is the angular conformity, just time 
of erosion and time of not deposition, then we have this disconformity here uh, related to this alluvial valley. And uh, okay, the next during the next uh, wheeler, we are going to complicate a little more, but. Uh, for this, um, in, in this time, it was it's both very interesting for me to introduce this time, this concept of the time overlap here, due to the effect of this uh, reverse fall you can see here. So thank you for attending this video. In the next video, we are going inside with uh, some more uh, real example from the offshore.